What's up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist bringing you some more lore on the individual characters of the Warhammer 40k. This time I'm going to be doing it a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, so just bear with me, let me know if you guys like this version or not in the comments. But now, let's dive into the hellish lore of Bellacor. Bellacor is the first demon prince, ancient beyond imagining. He was the first of his kind. He was raised up from mortality by the gods of chaos combined. He was given a portion of each of their power. His fate has ever been influenced by the endless struggle between the four chaotic gods, as he is beholden to each of the dark gods equally. At first, he used the jealousy of the ruinous powers to gain their favors, never completely swearing his allegiance to any one of them. For a time, the gods fought over Belakor as children might squabble over a favored toy. However, they soon realized the folly of combining their might into a single vessel, as Belakor was nearly uncontrollable. The chaotic gods soon began to raise up their own demon princes, each god choosing only champions that would become loyal to them and to them alone. Belakor remained the strongest of all these demon princes, Belakor's might was slowly diminishing as each god has spread their power to new servants. Nevertheless, Belakor remains a master of the shadows, moving behind the veil of history, exerting the will of the chaotic gods upon the universe. Belakor's origins are spoken as legend and rumor, tales torn from the tongues of captive demons or forbidden lore recorded on ancient crypt walls. Crude pictographs found in caves of dry, dead worlds, or primitive statues hidden in sunken depths of death worlds, speak of Belakor's immortal reign within the galaxy. Scholars have been driven mad looking for hints of the demon's presence woven into their history, always lurking in the shadow behind the rise and fall of many civilizations. Even the secretive Grey Knight Space Marine chapter, created by the Emperor to combat the demonic forces of the Warp, know very little of Bellacor's true history, only conflicting lies and impossible fabrications. Some legends say that Bellacor's rule over the mortal empires since the dawn of time, the Demon Prince conquers worlds and subjugates its people, forcing them to worship gods. When the race would fall into decline, ruined by Belakor's greed, the demon would simply move on and find a new race to become his plaything. Several times the demon prince is said to have been the lord of sectors spanning empires, a dark demon god ruling over a thousand worlds and billions of loyal followers have been found in scripts. Relics and the ruins of dead worlds still exist that suggest that there may be some truth to these legends. Whether their source was Bellacor or not is difficult to say. The Adeptus Mechanicus Tech Magos Kyber has spent his life piecing together the history of Bellacor. He has hunted down ancient relics of the Dark Age of Technology to aid him in his journey. Kyber has followed the faint trail left by Bellacor's passage throughout history. He has found winged statues carved from the fossilized bones of psychers, crumbling scrolls of human skin that show thousands of tiny figures bowing before a dark winged figure. Unaware of Bellacor's true name, Kyber has become convinced that all these objects are linked to one alien overlord an ancient creature that existed for millions of years in various disguises and is behind countless vile deeds. Unknown to Kyber, he is being manipulated by Bellacor. The demon prince has placed the first clues to his existence in Kyber's path, leading the Magos to the ruins of a world he once ruled. From the seed of curiosity, Kyber has discovered new systems, planets, and ruined empires long forgotten by mankind. While the demon helps Kyber from the shadows, the Magos gathers up the hidden and forgotten legacy Bellacor has left behind. 
an excerpt from Tech Magos Kyber to the Council of Chalice. He is not many, he is one, he is the first. A creature as old as creation itself. He has moved unseen between the stars for millennia, twisting the fates of many races and feeding upon their misery. But I have found him. I have learnt his name. Like a firstborn son, Belakor has always had a bitter jealousy towards anything or anyone that wins the favor of the chaotic dark gods. For millennia, the demon prince undermined the plots and schemes of the demonic and mortal servants of chaos. Belakor took down a champion of Nurgle. Unknowns to him, he was doing Zeech's bidding, and while laying down a warrior of the blood god, he was fulfilling the will of Slaanesh. Belakor remains blind to these manipulations of the gods, his own thirst for power and pleasure clouding his mind. In more recent times, rumors say that Belakor has begun shadowing a new champion of the dark gods, the war master, Abaddon the Despoiler. Supposedly, the demon prince has spent centuries watching over him and influencing events as they ebb and flow around the war master. During each of Abaddon's Black Crusades, the Master of Shadows has been lurking in the background, always listening, always watching. During the Third Crusade, legends say that it was Belakor who manipulated the Demon Prince Talomin into aiding the Despoiler and ultimately assaulting Cadia. Belakor was also reputed to be the one who told Abaddon of the treachery of the Drakarth the Sightless leading to the destruction of the Sons of the Eye during the Sixth Black Crusade. In both instances, Belakor's actions seem to have aided Abaddon's rise to power, though closer examination exposes possible, darker motives at work. Though Talamin exacted a terrible toil upon the armies of Cadia, he did so at the cost of numerous Black Legion warbands, much to Abaddon's ire. While Descartes, the Sightless, could in time have proven a powerful ally for the Despoiler, had not Belakor fanned the embers of vengeance burning in Abaddon's heart. Hidden behind a veil of secrets and lies, it is impossible to know for sure if Belakor is doing the bidding of the Chaos Gods or working against them. However, his plots and plans have ultimately been instrumental in Abaddon's rise to power. As the end times hurtle towards their terrible conclusion, Belakor once again stands in Abaddon's shadow. As the War Master embarks upon his 13th Black Crusade against the Imperium, the Demon marches with him. With hatred and jealousy guiding his hand, the Demon Prince has worked his way close to the War Master, earning a place in Abaddon's inner circle and making him believe he is a herald of the ruinous powers. Belakor is surely plotting against Abaddon in some way, seeking to undermine the victory intended for the War Master by the Dark Gods, and claim this power and glory of conquest for himself. Where and when this treachery will reveal itself is known only to Belakor himself. Only a fool trusts a demon. They are made of the very stuff of change, the raw madness of the warp made manifest. However, like men, Demons are creatures of greed, pride, and arrogance. And all these things I trust completely. Abaddon, the Despoiler. Thank you, Abaddon, for closing that lore on Bellacor. So what did you guys think? Did you like it? Should I stick to the old style? Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what lore you guys wish to hear on next. Is it the Emperor? Is it Abaddon? Just let me know. And once again, I have been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, signing out.